These examples are very similar to the previous examples, except now we've got negative numbers involved. The method is going to be the same, however. I want to multiply what's outside the bracket by every term inside the bracket. In this first example, I've got four lots of h minus two. So that's going to give me four lots of h, which is four h, and I'm going to want to take away four lots of two. Four lots of two is eight, so I'm going to subtract eight. So four lots of h minus two equals four h minus eight. Using the same method here, three lots of x minus one is three x, take away three lots of one, which is three. In this example, I'm going to have q lots of q, or q times q, which is q squared, and then I'm going to take away q times b, which is qb or bq. Doesn't matter whether you write qb or bq, I'm just going to put it in alphabetical order. That's my q times the b. In this example, I'm going to have c times 5, which is 5c. Remember, we want to put numbers before letters when we're multiplying. And I'm adding c times t. That's ct. In this example, I've got m lots of 2n minus 3m. And that's going to give me m lots of 2n. So that's m times 2n. And in algebra, we can leave out the multiplication sign. So that would give me m2n. But remember, the convention is that we put numbers in front of letters when we multiply. So m times 2n is actually going to give me 2mn. I could write 2nm instead. I could swap those letters around but I'm going to stick to alphabetical order. The only important thing is that 2 has to go at the front. So I've multiplied the m by the 2n to get this. I then need to subtract what I get when I do m times 3m. m times 3m is going to be 3m squared. When I multiply that m by itself, I get m squared or m to the power of 2. And I was actually multiplying it by 3m, which is why I've got the 3 here. So m lots of 2n minus 3m is the same as 2mn minus 3m squared. And that's what we've got. In this example, I've got 2x times x, which is going to be 2x squared. And then I need to add on what I get when I multiply 2x by 7y. Now that's 2 times x times 7 times y. Remember, 2x means 2 times x and 7y means 7y. When I multiply all of those things together, I'm going to get 14xy. Remember, it doesn't matter what order you multiply things in. If I did the 2 times the 7 first, that would give me the 14, and then I need to be multiplying by the x and the y as well. So I get 14xy. Remember, I could write 14yx instead. That's perfectly acceptable. In this example, I've got a negative number outside the bracket but we're going to use the exact same method. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then I'm going to add on negative 2 times k. And negative 2 times k is just negative 2k. So I get an answer of negative 6 add negative 2k. Now, you might also be comfortable writing that as negative 6 take away 2k. Because when you add a negative number, it's the same as subtracting that number. So adding negative 2k is the same as subtracting 2k. In this example, I've got negative m times 2m plus 5. If I multiply the negative m by the 2m, I'm going to get negative 2m squared. So negative 2, number first, remember, times m times m gives me m squared. I'm then going to add on what I get when I do negative m times 5. And negative m times 5 is the same as negative 5m. And we could write this as negative 2m squared minus 5m. Remember, adding a negative is just the same as taking away. In this last example, I've got negative 3 lots of x minus 7. Negative 3 lots of x is negative 3x. 
and I'm going to take away negative 3 times 7 and that's going to give me negative 21. Negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. And that's the same as negative 3x plus 21. Remember, subtracting a negative is the same as adding.